Hi guys, Bold here and today in this video I'm going to teach you everything about recon and laser designation in Broken Arrow. Now recon infantry squads are usually smaller groups of soldiers compared to your regular infantry that have enhanced optical capabilities and they are basically the eyes and ears of your army so you really want to use them in your battle groups. Now the main purpose is to spot units from your opponents. They can take a light beating and hold their own for a bit, not for long. Now some recon units do have special abilities such as being able to laser designate units for you which you can then use to hit those units with pinpoint accuracy using smart ammunition that certain units have. Now recon infantry is quite simple to use. In this example I am putting recon infantry in high rise buildings which will allow them to spot units at the front line so that I can push in more prepared. Now it doesn't mean that regular units like a tank or regular infantry don't have optics. Recon units just have better optics so it, it helps. Now recon infantry can also be used in the rear of the opponent and this is where they really shine through in my opinion. A simple recon sniper team can just completely erase or help erase the back lines of your opponent, which will usually include their expensive anti-air and artillery units, and also supply depots. And in this example, I am taking them all out with a simple sniper team and two artillery units with laser gun munitions. Now this brings me to laser designation. Not all recon units have laser designation capabilities, but most units that have laser designation capabilities are recon units. Now there are exceptions of course, but those will be discussed accordingly. Okay, so in this scenario, I simply move the sniper team to the rear of my opponent, I press the laser designation hotkey, which is N for November, and I hover over the unit I want to designate. If I am in range, and if there isn't anything obstructing my light of sight, I can designate it. Now when you do this, a bright green laser will show up that is only visible to me and my teammates, so not to the enemy. Now I can click on this artillery unit, which includes smart ammunition that can be laser guided, indicated by this laser icon. Now in the case of the High Mars that I'm showing in this video, it is a little bit different. So if I have the PRSM loadout, these are ballistic missiles, I have to press P to give it a fire position order. And then I just click on the target with left mouse click. In the case of the Attackums, it's a ballistic missile as well, but it isn't laser guided. For this you also press P. The cluster and high explosive warheads, both MLRS, are laser guided and to use these, I need to press T. So that can be a little bit confusing, but something to just remember is that ballistic missiles, to fire them, you press P, and for like MLRS, so multi-rocket launchers, you press T. And both of these, plus the PRSM, will then be guided towards the target by the laser. In the case of the Paladin with the Excalibur rounds, or any other howitzer with laser-guided munitions, Russian or American, I have to press T for fire position, select the correct ammunition, which is the laser guided ammunition, and then click on the target. So that can get a little bit confusing, but I hope this helps a little bit. And the laser designation will make corrections to the shell's trajectory kind of last second and guide it right on top of the target. Now there are multiple units that have laser guided munitions. The current ones in the US arsenal are quite vast that we can play with. In the case of artillery units that have these munitions, we have the Paladin with the Excalibur shells, the High Mars with PRSM, Cluster, and HE rockets, and any plane that basically carries a JDAM, Stormbreaker, and of course is indicated by the laser icon. If it has a laser guidance icon there, it is capable. Now the cool thing is, your teammates can also laser designate targets for you, and the other team members can also make use of that laser designation by firing their smart munitions. Can kind of really work together with one person going behind the enemy lines, designating everything, being kind of like a recon, uh, recon player. And there can be a support player with lots of laser guided ammunition artillery, and that really just enhances gameplay experience in a good way, because you're actively working together and there's elements that promote that. Now things will get a bit more interesting. Now in the case of the F-35, it can laser designate targets for itself, but also for other things. So for example, I can tell it to drop the JDAMs near this tank by pressing P, the amount of times that equals the amount of bombs I have. So in this case, I have two JDAMs, so I click P twice, and then click around the target twice. Now I click N for November and hover over the target until I am in range of the laser designation and there is nothing obstructing the line of sight. When I am, I click on the target with left mouse click and the laser will show up. Now the bombs will be guided right on top of the target and take it out. This is super satisfying, very effective, so I hope this short tutorial about that helped you. So brief summary, recon units are your eyes and ears. Sprinkle them across the front line but do not take them deep into fights because they are quite precious. Recon units can also be used in the flanks or rear of your opponents to spot targets that you can then take out with your long-range weapons. 
They also have laser designation, well, some of them do, that can make these long range fire missions more accurate if you have compatible ammunition indicated by this laser icon. You laser the target, fire the smart munitions and watch it gravitate to the target. Some units have both smart munitions and laser designation capabilities altogether and they can do it all themselves. But it does require a bit more micromanaging, so start small and move up. Hope this helped, I will be covering everything you need to know about Broken Arrow including news, updates, betas but also tutorials, so make sure you subscribe and share this video with your Broken Arrow buddies.